Hello, Kulas, and welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest developing stories. We start with Sergio Busquets as manager Javi continue to ask for the Barca captain to renew his contract for at least one more year. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Then secondly, talking about legend Lionel Messi, as it has been reported that PSG are currently in discussion with the superstar over his renewal, confirms the sporting director there. He said we are talking in a recent interview. So guys, before we get right into the full story, please do ensure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. In the run-up to the La Liga match at the Camp Nou against Sevilla, Barcelona coach Xavi Hernandez appeared at the press conference and discussed one of the hottest topics at the club at the moment, the future of captain Sergio Busquets. The club captain has been putting in some great performances in recent weeks for Barca and Xavi was asked about the midfielder's future. The coach answered in a, in a very clear and categorical way. The decision will be his. We are waiting. He is a very important person for this club, both on and off the pitch. He is the captain. Xavi added, he has earned the right to decide his own future. I would be delighted if he stayed for another year at least. The decision, as Javi says, will be up to Busquets. But you know, what is certain is that Barcelona will put an offer on the table for him very soon to continue for another year. As we have already explained in sport, the club will try to close the renewal or an extra season during the month of February. Both the sports area of the club and the coaching staff are clear that it will be very difficult to find a replacement for Busquets. You know, so is it MLS or Saudi Arabia? The destination is still known. Busquets has offers from the other side of Pawn. Just this week, it was reported that Inter Miami are really waiting with open arms for him for their next MLS project. The club owned by David Beckham wants him for next season. For them, it would represent a tremendous leap in quality as the midfielder still has a lot of football in his boat. But everything points to the fact that they will have to wait to see him play in the United States. In addition to the American offer, there was also speculation about Saudi Arabia with reports of design economic offer rather than a sporting one. You know, so in any case, Barca wants a, a cordial negotiation with all the cards, with all on the cards on the table. The club will make a good financial offer, but a far cry from his current salary. And Busquets will have to study the pros and the cons on a sporting and also on a family level. So Busquets' situation continued to make headlines. Of course, Barcelona not wanting to let him go just like that without a fight. Um, all through the influence of Javi, it's clear. Busquets is still, you know, his future is still hanging in the air. Um, Inter Miami are really waiting and they are really hoping that he will join. And I think David Beckham's side will be really surprised because I think some months back it was like, it is a clear something that Busquets will leave as many fans were criticizing him a lot for his performances back then, even though he has improved with all honesty. And uh, definitely, it was like, it's a showcase this guy will leave. He has nothing to offer to this club. But now things have changed. And the fact that the player has no issues again the way he plays, I think he's fundamental to the game. Javi starting him in all games and he proves to be very solid in that midfield. I've also made him to gain more interest. And I think um, Barcelona will do all they can to ensure that he stays for at least another year. As you can hear Javi in his press conference um, reiterating the same, saying that he really wants to see his captain for another year as his experience is going to help the young ones a lot before he leaves. Um, I think not many are, are happy about that if he renews the contract. Um, there are many who still believe that we still have those midfielders who can still do the job in regardless of the player leaving or not. 
it does not mean that he's a captain he shouldn't be be sold so let's see actually if I, that will happen you know Busquets still continuing to be important it's true but i don't know if actually leaving the club will bring us a lot of harm i don't think so then on to the next story of discussion paris saint german sporting director luis campos recently sat down with telefoot where he offered his thoughts on various topics around PSG, along with the status of first-team superstars such as Neymar and Lionel Messi. Most notably, the director confirmed PSG's talks with Messi and doubled down on the club's desire to keep him a part of the team in the foreseeable future. He said, at the moment, we are in discussions with Messi for his extension, I would like to keep him in this project. I can't hide it. We are talking at the moment to achieve this goal and continue to have him with us, Campos told Telefou. Campos took over the reins at PSG during the summer, replacing Leonardo Araujo. Although Campos' new signings have had mixed success, the director has been credited for his work in the dressing room, which has translated into an excellent start to the season for PSG. Campos' influence has been critical in the management of the club star players as well, with various sources suggesting that Messi is determined to continue his chapter at the Pacto the Prince for at least another year, despite interest from former employers Barcelona. Ben Jacobs broke an update yesterday suggesting that PSG have failed to reach a verbal agreement with Messi on a renewal, although the update might have alerted Barca there are no immediate indications that Messi wants to leave Paris this summer. In fact, it is PSG who have the upper hand. And if everything goes well, the forward is set to earn a new contract until 2024 with an option to extend it further. In any case, Barcelona are not in a position to make a move to resign the Argentine in the coming summer due to the problems with financial fair play rules. I honestly don't understand why the media always talks about this messy stuff, which looks so impossible. I don't know. It's all about making the money um, from the stories that they put on their front pages, honestly speaking, because it also brings them traffic. Um, but honestly, there's, there's no, there's, it, it, it does not even look realistic. Look at the situation we find ourselves in. Messi, who is a superstar, who cannot even afford to sign low-profile players than Messi. And we need to strengthen some important areas, which is even more than us at the moment because of the string, the, the, the stringent rules in La Liga. Then let alone Messi. Is that, Messi, is that the one that we can sign? Because it looks so impossible. Because we bring in Messi then, which means, like, it's all confused. If you want to keep Busquets for one more year, as Xavi and Laporta want to do, then how can you bring Messi back? That means we will not sign anybody. You know, so it's just something crazy, to be honest. Except the one message to play for free, which is impossible. So, it's, it's, it's very tricky as it stands. I think PSG still have the upper hand. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.